Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today I'm sharing a formulation I've had a ton of requests for. This is a 5% lactic acid and hyaluronic acid exfoliating serum. This serum pairs gentle chemical exfoliation with some beautiful skin soothing actives to reveal new, smoother, glowing skin. Because the final pH of this formulation is so important, this really isn't a formulation for beginners. You'll need to be comfortable testing and adjusting the pH to quite a precise level and you'll need a digital pH meter. Now, no worries if you are not there yet. I've been formulating for over a decade and this is the first alpha hydroxy acid formulation I have shared. You definitely don't need a decade of experience under your belt, but absolutely no worries about wanting a bit more experience before you dive into a project like this. If you'd like to try a similar product but you don't want to make it, The Ordinary makes a 5% lactic acid and hyaluronic acid solution that is you know, the same strength as this one and a lovely formulation. It's about eight bucks so it's really affordable and a great way to try some lactic acid in your skincare routine if you're not quite ready to make it for yourself yet. If you're a newer maker and you'd like to get started formulating with skincare acids, I recently shared a salicylic acid formulation that is really beginner friendly as it doesn't contain any water so you don't have to worry about pH. Salicylic acid is definitely different from lactic acid but it's still a lovely skincare ingredient and that formulation is really easy to whip up. We're going to be making a 100 gram batch of this formulation which is quite a lot of this product but I wanted to make sure that you had plenty available for testing and adjusting the pH. As always the partner blog post for this formulation contains a ton of extra helpful information with everything written out and with a lot of helpful links to further information about formulating with alpha hydroxy acids so I really recommend recommend checking it out. It's linked in the description box below this video. Before you begin weighing out the ingredients, put on a pair of gloves and some eye protection. The lactic acid ingredient we are working with today is very acidic and we don't want to risk it coming into contact with our skin or our eyeballs. The first ingredient we'll weigh out is the lactic acid. You'll need 5.55 grams of a 90% lactic acid solution. If your lactic acid is a different strength and check with your supplier to see what you've got, you'll need to use a different amount adjusting the distilled water in the formulation as required. I've included the adjusted numbers for an 88% solution in the partner blog post linked in the description box below. 20 grams of a 1% low molecular weight hyaluronic acid solution adds some really silky, luxurious, non-tacky, moisturizing goodness to the formulation. I've got an entire blog post and video on how to make this 1% solution from hyaluronic acid powder, and both are linked in the partner blog post. I've also done a Q&A post and video on hyaluronic acid that discusses substitutions and how much hyaluronic acid you should be using in your skincare products, so that's also linked in that partner blog post. You'll need 61.35 grams distilled water. This dilutes all of the actives in the formulation to safe levels and delivers some essential hydration. To boost hydration and preservative performance, we'll need 10 grams of propanidiol 1,3 or propylene glycol. Our next two ingredients are thickening ingredients, so they help give this formulation a bit of body so it has more of a rich serum-y feel and doesn't feel watery. You'll need 0.2 grams of soft xanthan gum and 0.05 grams of polyquaternium 10. If you don't have both of these ingredients, you can use all soft xanthan gum, though you want to use a bit more. You'll find full details in the partner blog post, along with a coupon code to save 20% at Formulator Sample Shop. The last two ingredients we'll weigh out right now are two skin soothing actives to help counter any irritation the lactic acid could cause. You'll need one gram of panthenol, also known as vitamin B5, and 0.4 grams elantoin. The amount of elantoin is calculated to be within the limits of the water in the formulation to dissolve it, so I don't recommend using more. If you don't have these ingredients, you could consider using a skin soothing water soluble botanical extract instead. Please check the substitutions list at the end of the blog post formulation for full details. Start combining the ingredients by stirring the panthenol and elantoin into the distilled water and hyaluronic acid. In a second beaker, stir the xanthan gum and polyquaternium 10 into the propanidiol 1,3 until smooth. Once the panthenol and elantoin have mostly dissolved, add the lactic acid to the water mixture and stir to combine. Pour that water mixture into the gum slurry and stir. You'll notice jellyish blobs forming straight away. That is normal, so don't worry. Now it's time to add our last two ingredients. Weigh in 0.45 grams of Liquid Dermal Plus and one gram of a freshly made 
10% sodium hydroxide solution. This bit of sodium hydroxide solution kickstarts the raising of the pH, but we will definitely still need more. Cover your beaker and leave everything to hydrate and dissolve. A few hours should be long enough, but overnight is very convenient if you are making this in the evening. While we wait, let's chat about using the serum safely. If you're new to including alpha hydroxy acids in your skincare routine, please introduce this product slowly. I would start with using a few drops of this serum once a day, about three times a week, and work up from there to potentially daily use, paying attention to how your skin is reacting. Pay attention to your skin, looking for signs of irritation, and discontinue or reduce use if you notice that your face is unhappy. Do not use this serum on broken or otherwise compromised skin and definitely keep it out of your eyes. I use this serum along with other watery, serum-y type products in my skincare routine. So after cleansing, but before something like the salicylic acid and hydrous formulation or a face cream. Something else that's very important while you are using alpha hydroxy acid products is sunscreen use. Because lactic acid helps reveal new skin, using lactic acid makes your skin more sensitive to the sun. Therefore, it's very important to wear sunscreen every day when you're using lactic acid, and not just on the days you're using it, but every day while you're using it and for at least a week after you stop. If you live in North America and you find that the sunscreens you can buy are not awesome, they don't really make you love wearing sunscreen, I highly recommend checking out sunscreens from Japan. They're amazing. They're so much lighter, they're a lot more effective, and they are a true pleasure to wear. I've included some specific recommendations and links for even more recommendations in the partner blog post. Sunscreen is absolutely not a thing that you should be trying to make for yourself. I wrote an entire blog post about all the reasons why not, so that's also linked in the partner blog post. Please give it a read. Once our serum appears uniform and has noticeably thickened, give it a stir to check, it is time to test and adjust the pH. You'll probably think the mixture is a bit too thick, but don't worry, it'll thin out as we raise the pH. Check the pH by weighing two grams of the serum and 18 grams of distilled water into a small dish. Whisk to combine, this creates a 10% solution. Use your pH meter to check the pH of the solution, and you can learn more about the pH meter I have in the Humblebee and Me DIY Encyclopedia's equipment section. The pH of the serum will probably be around 2 to 2.5, and it needs to be as close to 3.8 as you can get it. So add small amounts of the 10% sodium hydroxide solution to the parent serum, stir and retest. Do this until the pH is in the 3.7 to 3.9 range. I've made a much more detailed video about testing and adjusting this formulation and this formulation in general as an exclusive video for my $10 and up patrons. If you'd like to check that out, please consider becoming a patron. Once the pH is where it needs to be, we can package it up. I'm using some 30 milliliter or one fluid ounce bottles fitted with orifice reducers that I purchased from Voyager Soap and Candle. The thickeners in this serum make the serum just viscous enough that you can shake out a drop or two at a time from the orifice reducer. Other good packaging options would be a bottle with a treatment pump top or with a dropper cap. If you'd like to learn how to make a beginner-friendly salicylic acid formulation, click here. And if you would like to learn more about another skincare active I love, niacinamide, click here. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.